Welcome to another parent teacher video lesson from the earlygiftedmanual.com, a free website for homeschooled children three to seven years old and their parents that promotes and develops giftedness at an early age. I am Gary Blank, the creator of that site and your host and facilitator for this video and all of the videos in my educational program. As the video lessons are designed to work in conjunction with the program on my website, I ask you to, at some point, click on the URL link in the description box below, and this action will take you to the earlygiftedmanual.com. By doing that, you will be able to put this lesson and all of the video lessons here on my channel in the proper context of the total program that I am presenting to you and your child. And welcome everyone to video lesson 36, subtraction with two digit numbers. And in uh, this video lesson, I will be showing you how to, uh, how to teach your, ch your child to uh, solve these uh, subtraction problems that have two, now have two digit numbers. And of course, uh, at this stage, there'll be no uh, what we call regrouping. Some of you might use the word borrowing. So uh, not yet. That'll, that'll be down the road somewhere for your child. And all you'll need to do this lesson is uh, uh, simply uh, some blank paper and a pencil or, and or your whiteboard. So two-digit subtraction. And of course, uh, when, we, when we did two-digit addition a few lessons earlier than this, uh, I tried to emphasize that uh, uh, your child needs to understand the place value concept before, we can, uh, before he can tackle this. So uh, you might want to review that with him, take a few minutes to re review place value, get out the uh, ones, tens, hundreds, cups, and... and uh, the craft sticks or whatever you need to do just for a little review. Okay, uh, let's start out with a problem. 24 minus 13 equals how many? And I should have gotten these numbers a little closer together here. <laughs> there, there we go. Uh, 24 minus 13 equals how many? And of course, you're uh, modeling the activity for your child, for, for starters. And what you're going to do, the same thing you did when you uh, worked with uh, two-digit numbers in addition, you're going to give uh, her a little help, draw a line right through there, and say, look, on this side of the line we have ones, this side we have tens, and then prove it to her by saying this number is 24, and you and I both know that 24 is two tens and four ones, or you might say two bundles of craft sticks and four ones, whatever, however you want to say that. And of course, the number 13 is one ten and three ones, so it's very important to establish that first. Uh, before anything else. So from this point you can say, um, well, let's start out uh, by working with the numbers in the ones column because uh, he already knows that uh, when it comes to addition and subtraction we work this way, right to left, which is a little different than some of the other things uh, he's done in arithmetic. So uh, you say, well, let's uh, subtract these numbers in the ones column. Four minus three, of course, is one. And then, of course, we move over to the tens column. Uh, two minus one, or two take away one, is one. And, of course, you want to emphasize again, um, say, look, now uh, we're subtracting tens. Over here, we're subtracting ones. And the answer is 11, and you want to point out, of course, that 11 is 1, 10, and 1, 1. So it's very important to, 
to say those things because uh, it's really uh, now with these bigger numbers it's all about place value and understanding place value. So uh, review, uh, we solved these problems right to left, ones and then tens and of course on to hundreds and whatnot. Uh, subtract the numbers in the ones column. Subtract the numbers in the tens column, then read the problem and the answer. So let's do maybe one more here. Um, and you can dictate uh, a problem to her and let, let her get a little more involved. Now let me start with a clean sheet of paper. Okay. All right. Let's see, how about this one? 68 minus 45 equals how many? And um, she may want to just jump in without all the, uh, the support stuff and she may be able to do that, but maybe for the first one, uh, I have her put it in. So you want to put the line through here. Up here, you want to make sure that he or she knows that's the ones column, that's the tens column. And then you follow, like, like so, mu so many arithmetic operations, you simply follow the steps and the rules. So once again, we're going right to left, ones columns to, ten, to tens columns. And of course, uh, you could uh, have her uh, read these numbers uh, and, and ask her, well, how many tens are in 68? How many ones? How many tens are in 45? How many, one, how many ones? Just to uh, reinforce that she's, she's understanding what we're doing here. All right. And of course, you, all, you know that step one is we uh, subtract the numbers in the ones column. Eight minus five, three. And then we go over and subtract the numbers in the tens column. 6 minus 4, or 6 take away 4, equals 2. And then she can read the whole problem and the difference. 68 minus 45 equals 23. And of course you can, if she doesn't know it already, she probably does, you can point out that 23 is 2 tens and 3 ones. So, um, like so much math, it's, it's following steps, but at the same time, uh, your child needs to understand the underlying, uh, uh, what word should I use, the theory behind what we're doing here. So, uh, oh, and also make sure when she writes that her columns are well aligned, because of course that will be a bigger, uh, a bigger issue later on. In other words, it can't look like this. Say she writes like this or something and the numbers aren't right under each other. So pay attention to that also. All right, so um, we have a total of six practice sheets you can access for this. Uh, on, on, at this lesson, lesson 36 on the early gifted manual, uh, two of them are, are just straight uh, two digit number subtraction. And then we have four more that are mixed practice sheet where uh, addition and subtraction with two digit numbers will be mixed together. So a lot of practice opportunities uh, for you and your child to work with. And of course, uh, as I say so often, give her as much or as little support as she needs on those. And that's lesson 36, subtraction with two digit numbers.